What is up guys, AJ here, and today I'm actually trying something new. I'm gonna record my screen uh, through this new thing I found called Bandicam. Uh, so just tell me what you guys think of this, I don't know, just trying something new. So today I'm gonna be reviewing Drake's new album, More Life. It was released on March 18th, 2017, which was actually last Saturday. And um, I just wanted to review this and tell you guys about the album, and um, if you're looking to buy it, then... Maybe this could help you a little bit. Um, yeah, so basically, just so you guys know, I'm a major, major Drake fan. Like, I love Drake. Um, I've loved listening to him for a long time. And this album was just great for me. I really, really like this album, and I'm going to tell you why. So, last year, last summer, Drake released his album, Views from the Six. And... Everyone really liked that album a lot. It sold like something like a million copies in the first week. Um, crazy amount. And um, this album is kind of like a reiteration of it, but just with new music. So Views was all, all like Views was all about um, Drake kind of showing himself moving from more of a rap and you know hip hop kind of guy to more of an R&B singer, and this, that aspect comes out a lot in More Life, um, a lot of the first, like, ten songs is, like, singing, and not a lot of rapping, and to be honest, I, I like that, but a few of the songs are a little bit slow, and a few of them I can, like, do away with, but 95% of the album I really like, um, my favorite songs are probably Do Not Disturb, um, Fake Love, Ice Melts, uh, 4422, and probably Portland. I really like that song a lot. Um, this album also features a bunch of people, big names like Kanye West, 2 Chains, <coughs> um, 2 Chains, uh, Party Next Door, who was also in Views, Gigs, Young Thug, he's in Twice, uh, Travis Scott and Quavo. Like, there's just a lot of big names in this album that I really like, and I like a lot of the people that are featured, um, and I don't know, guys, like, this album, it just really spoke to me, like, a lot of the songs talk about Drake's personality and his love life and things that have happened to him, and he tells them through these metaphors and through these, um, and through these lyrics, and it, it speaks, it speaks louder than words, really. If you're listening to it and you're just chilling and you're listening to it, um, by the way, most of these songs are really not, like, some things to, like, dance to. I know, like, a lot, like, Fake Love are, but 50% are and 50% are things you can just vibe to and, and listen and kind of get in your feels. A lot are not, like, lit songs, quote-unquote, and that's why a lot of people kind of dislike the album and think it's getting overrated by Drake viewers and Drake lovers and all that, but... Honestly, guys, if you're basing talent and musical artists on if the song is quote-unquote lit or not, then I don't think, you know, you should have a say in it, to be honest, because the music is about the music. It's not about, you know, dancing and stuff. But that's just me. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I really... I really think if you guys want to, you should buy this album. If you liked Views and if you like Drake then you definitely should buy it. It's at a good price. It's only $10 um, for 22 songs and an hour of music. Um, so yeah, guys, if this persuaded you in any way, uh, leave a like, subscribe, tell me about Bandicam and if you guys like this version of a recording. And that's been it. Peace.